Introducing a new series. This is going to be ranking every U.S. state by their most exciting sporting event. I got all the events from a website, which I'll have linked in the comments. Now, this is only going to include events that are held annually in each state. So, for example, if a state hosted a Final Four or Super Bowl, that won't be in here. It's only things that are every year. 50 is Delaware, the Amish Country Bike Tour. Now, I'm sorry, but if the best sporting event your state has to offer is riding a bike through some farmland, that's pretty lame. 49 is Oklahoma, the Mangum Rattlesnake Derby, where they hunt down rattlesnakes for two days. If you know me at all, you know how much I hate snakes, so I don't understand why anyone would want to do this. 48 is Colorado, the Pikes Peak Marathon. Now, this is very impressive, but I just don't know why anyone would want to subject themselves to the misery of running a marathon up a mountain. 47, Rhode Island, the Newport International Polo Series. Now, I have never heard of anyone in my entire life who's interested in polo, so I don't know who's going to these events. 46, South Dakota, the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. I know this is very popular but it seems more like a social event rather than sports. 45 is Utah, the Park City Point to Point, which is a mountain bike race. Listen, I'm not saying it's not impressive or doesn't take any skill, but this just would not be very interesting to watch as a fan. 44 is Idaho, the Snake River Stampede, which is a professional rodeo event. Fairly entertaining, I'm sure, but there's a bunch of rodeo events in this series, so we got to start knocking out some of them. 43 is Montana, the Livingston Roundup. Now, like the last one, it's probably fairly entertaining, but like I said, we've got to start eliminating some of them because there's so many rodeos in here. 42, West Virginia, the Huntington Invitational. Surprise, surprise, we have another rodeo event, but this one's a PBR event, so that's why I had it higher than the others. 41, Wyoming, Cheyenne Frontier Days. Again, another rodeo, but this one is known as the world's largest outdoor rodeo, so that's why it beat the other three. 40 is Virginia, the Foxfield Races, a steeplechase race held twice a year in their state. Not overly popular that I'm aware of, but it might be kind of interesting. 39 is South Carolina, the Carolina Cup, another steeplechase race, but I believe this one's a little bit more popular than the one in Virginia, so that's why they were one spot higher. 38 is New Jersey, the Hamiltonian Stakes. This time we have another horse racing event, but it's harness horse racing, which I've never seen, so probably pretty unique and might be kind of interesting to see. 37 is Missouri, the Show Me State Games, which is pretty much just a bunch of Olympic events for amateur athletes. It would be really cool to participate in this as an athlete. Just not sure how interesting it would be as a fan because the quality of play would probably be very, very poor compared to what we're used to. 36 is Louisiana, the Bayou Classic, which features a parade and then a football matchup between Grambling State and Southern University. Very heated rivals, just couldn't have it any higher on the list because it's not really one of the top tier college football games. 35 is Maine, the Great International Lobster Crate Race, which is basically just people racing across lobster crates, and if they fall off, they fall into some water. I just think this is hilarious and super unique, so that's why it made it this far. 34 is Michigan, the Bayview Mackinac Boat Races. This would just be very interesting because Michigan is well known for all of their lakes, so it would be pretty cool to just see all these different boats racing on them. 33 is North Dakota, the Motor Magic Festival. For people who like cars, this is the place for them. All types of different events at this. Things like drag racing, dirt track racing, car shows. A lot of fun stuff here for cars. 32 is New Hampshire, the New Hampshire Highland Games and Festival. Just a ton of like old-timey Scottish-style athletic events. This will be super unique, super interesting to see. 31 is Vermont, 24 Hours of Stratton. I like this one because it's about the only event on this list that pretty much anyone can join. It's just a 24-hour ski fest. You can ski all night long. That would be really cool. Number 30 is Tennessee, a Lady Volunteers basketball game. Now, I'm not really sure why the site I used didn't have a Tennessee football game because that's a pretty big deal there. But still, their women's basketball program is one of the most storied in the country. 29 is Minnesota, the U.S. Pond Hockey Championships. Now, this is super unique. It would be awesome to see in person. It's basically just people of all ages playing pond hockey. This would be legit. 28 is Arkansas, the World Championship Cardboard Boat Races. I just think this is hilarious. This would be amazing to watch in person. It's literally just what the name implies. It's people racing in cardboard boats across a lake. 27 is New Mexico, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. This is basically just a bunch of competitions and ways to showcase hot air balloons. This would be really cool and probably a lot of very pretty scenery to see. 26 is Connecticut, the Travelers Championship. Obviously a big deal for golf fans. It's a premier PGA Tour event. Just couldn't have it any higher because there's another PGA Tour event on this list that's way bigger. 25 is Wisconsin, the World Lumberjack Championships. This one made it this far just because it's super unique, and I think it'd be very interesting to see all different types of lumberjack competitions, especially seeing them run on the logs. 24 is Nevada, the PBR World Finals. Now, obviously, since this is the best of the best, it'll be very exciting. A lot of high-intensity events. This will be pretty interesting to see. 23 is Washington Seafair. This is just a big festival that features a lot of boat racing and competition events on Lake Washington. It attracts a ton of spectators, so it's probably a very cool event. 
22 is Iowa, the Iowa-Iowa State wrestling match. These two are very fierce rivals, especially when it comes to wrestling, since both schools are great at the sport. Very high intensity would be very exciting to go to. 21 is Ohio, the Arnold Strongman Classic, which was created by Arnold Schwarzenegger to showcase the world's strongest men. So many different interesting competitions, and this would really be very impressive to see all the things that they can lift. 20 is the Preakness Stakes, one of the most well-known horse racing events in the world, part of the Triple Crown, but just couldn't have any higher because there's another horse racing event in this list that's a little bit bigger and better. 19 is Hawaii, the Triple Crown of Surfing. The state is very well known for their surfing, so it makes perfect sense that this is held here. One of the most prestigious and challenging surfing events in the world, so this is a pretty big deal. 18 is Oregon, the Prefontaine Classic, which is one of the biggest track and field events in the world. It attracts some of the best athletes in the country, so this will be a pretty big event and very exciting to see. 17 is Kansas, a Jayhawks basketball game. This is one of the most storied college basketball programs, and they have a phenomenal atmosphere in their arena, so this would be an excellent place to see a college basketball game. 16 is Mississippi, the Egg Bowl, which features a matchup of Ole Miss and Mississippi State, two of the fiercest rivals in college football. This game's a battle almost every year. This would be super fun to go to. 15 is Arizona Baseball Spring Training. Now, this is always a big, exciting event for baseball fans. They get a chance to get up close and maybe meet their favorite players, and it's also a good way to get excited for the upcoming season. 14 is New York, the U.S. Open. Now, this is one of the biggest tennis events in the world, so it attracts the best of the best. A lot of high-quality play in this would be pretty interesting to watch. 13 is Illinois, a Chicago Cubs game. Now, Wrigley Field is one of the most iconic venues in all of sports, so it would just be absolutely incredible to go to a game here. 12 is Texas, the Red River Showdown, which features a football matchup between Texas and Oklahoma, two of the fiercest rivals in all of college football. These two teams hate each other, so fans flock to the Cotton Bowl every year to see this matchup. Number 11 is Florida, the Daytona 500. This is one of the biggest events for NASCAR. It kicks off their season. Tons of fans come to this. It's a huge deal for them, just not any higher because there's another racing event on the list that's a little better. Number 10 is Alaska, the Iditarod. This is one of the more well-known racing events in the world. This is a dog sled race that's almost a 1,000 miles across the state. Number 9 is Nebraska, the College World Series. Now, obviously, it's a big deal anytime you can have an NCAA championship in your state. And you hear teams say all the time things like, oh, we want to make it to Omaha. So this is a pretty prestigious event. Similarly, number 8 is Pennsylvania, the Little League World Series. Now, Little League Baseball is very popular throughout the world, so teams from all over the United States and different countries are all trying to compete to make it here, and the games are even broadcast on ESPN. Number 7 is Alabama, the Iron Bowl. Now, Auburn and Alabama are two of the fiercest rivals in all of college football, and both of them are always very good teams, so this is always a great matchup. Number 6 is California, the Tournament of Roses, which features a parade followed by the Rose Bowl, which is one of the most prestigious events in all of college football. Number five is Massachusetts, the Boston Marathon. This is one of the most well-known sporting events in the entire world. It attracts almost 40,000 runners every single year, and it's the oldest marathon in the world. Number four is North Carolina, a Duke versus UNC basketball game. Now, I personally believe this is the best rivalry in all of sports, and even for people who don't, it's got to be up there on their list. These two teams are always very good, so the matchups are phenomenal, and the teams and fan bases and schools hate each other. Number three is Indiana, the Indy 500. Over 300 spectators flock to Indianapolis every year to watch this. It's one of the most well-known racing events in the entire world, and it's filled with great tradition. Number two is Kentucky, the Kentucky Derby. This is the second oldest sporting event in the United States, and it's just filled with so much tradition. It's part of the Triple Crown, and it's just very well-known and very popular. And number one, Georgia, the Masters. Absolutely beautiful scenery here. A must-attend event for every sports fan, whether you like golf or not, and it truly is a tradition unlike any other.